This is Twit. Uh, speaking of encryption, Google is now rolling out end-to-end -end encryption default in RCS. This I don't know if are you guys up on RCS. If you want to talk about this, is kind of an inside baseball thing. But it's I don't know much about the details about it, but I kind of a little bit understand generally the the overarching idea behind it which is the we're talking about amp right we're talking about the google no 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 rcs is oh. is is rich communication services basically we're talking about google's response to apple's messages so oh, oh, oh. apple has yeah. never of course put messages anywhere but on apple devices mm -hmm. but people want the features that apple's messages offer Uh, Google was hoping that they could get the mobile carriers to do this. Mobile carriers like SMS, nobody else does. Uh, and and the carriers really dragged their feet. So last year, Google finally threw up their hands and said, fine, <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> uh, they actually bought a company that did RCS. Uh, and as of this week, Google completed a rollout of RCS for all Android phones using Android Messenger. Uh, or I guess they call it Google Messages. I don't know. You never know with Google what the hell their messaging platform is. But I guess it's now Google Messages. Uh, it has RCS. And they are uh, starting to put in end-to-end -end encryption as well. And the problem is, on Apple, you're still a green bubble. Doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> if you're on Android, you're a damn green bubble and you're and you're discriminated against. And Apple's not going to ever put Apple's messages on Android. And I just, it's a shame because it feels like it's siloed in both cases, mostly because of it. It is. And yeah. it has become, you're right, is 100% become a social thing. Mm -hmm. And I, without naming the teenager in question. <laughs> <laughs> is it one you own or one you rent? It's what I own. <laughs> and this one um, changed his entire platform because of not wanting to be a green bubble. Yeah. He's like, I'm literally yeah. getting left out of conversations with my friends. Yeah. Especially group conversations. So Google has its own group chat. But if you're on an Android device and your friends are on <laughs> messages from Apple, you're just kind of, you're left. They don't even say, don't, don't let him yeah. in the group. It's just going to mess it up. My brother's on an Android device. My mom is on an Apple device. And uh, he's a little salty about the fact that... <laughs> is that you're not talking to me. Well, yeah. I'd love to have him um, on a platform where I could loop him right in and message it too. I, I don't think it's just Android users who are out in the cold on this. Um it's frankly a little bit silly that my ability to create group chats and give them funky names and drop and drag stuff and ping people on either my desktop or my iPad or my phone. Um, I don't like that it leaves out a lot of people that I know. Yeah. <laughs> but is if a it solution... is driving purchases, which yeah. it is clearly since I like, mm -hmm. it's they have driving no incentive purchases. to change it, do they? No That's incentive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so horrible. These poor Android people are going to be all. Oh, is man. is the solution telling all your friends? Does this work? Uh, I don't know. To use Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or how, how do people? No, no, I don't Facebook know. Messenger, I mean, no. it, it, it has become because it has become a strange status and social thing. There's mm -hmm. eye rolling. I mean, I always go to the young people. <laughs> I sound so old. No, <laughs> no, you're not. First of all, uh, no, you're sitting next you to an old man, so you'll always look young. But also, this is the way it is. It's not. It's young people are the ones who are kind of solving this unilaterally, forcing us older yeah. people to go along for the ride. Well, you right? know, you know what they 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 are actually all. They're just going to Discord. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in in reality, that's maybe that's the future. It's not going to be Android or iOS or one messaging platform or another that fixes this. It's going to be a complete third party, and that's how they talk to each other. You know what's good about They're that? They're on Discord servers, and they they. Mom's they, not on Discord. No, actually, Some okay. Some families are. Really funny story. <laughs> I am on Discord, and the reason I'm on Discord uh -oh. is because I couldn't get my kids to text me back. <laughs> so I joined, I joined Discord, and I my username is your mom. And I friended <laughs> one of my children. And he came back to me and was like, LOL, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, no, really, I'm your mom. 
Oh my god! And he was like, "Oh, I thought you were just somebody, like a friend of mine, trolling me." And then both of my kids have been like, "This is great! Oh. It's so easy to get in touch with you." Oh. <laughs> They well, I don't it. care That's what the platform is. Can we just all agree? I, it's fine with me. Let's go Discord, mm -hmm. everybody. Discord is it. Yeah. That's where the kids are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, just like you're saying, Lindsay, on the one hand, there is this sort of like status pressure, the, you know, green bubble, blue bubble situation. But um, that's not like it, it, the kids are going to go where they're going to go. And, and it doesn't matter whether Android has a messages app. It doesn't matter whether Apple has a messages app. It's really they're going to find their own ways to like have group conversations and chats and things like that. And it's going to change right now. It's Discord. It'll be something else in a year or two. That's that's, that's the, the problem with thing, the Utes so. is they just they, they're <laughs> they're fickle. They're fickle. Well, I feel like you can watch the Utes, as it were, to to <laughs> see where they're going with communications preferences and technologies mm -hmm. and how that's going to shape things in the workplace yeah. down the line. And the fact that they're so into Discord now, like wait till Discord hits the enterprise in about five to six years. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the funny thing yeah. is that my kids, one of my uh -huh. kids actually wrote a letter to the principal of his high school to try to convince the high school to use Discord what? instead of Zoom for virtual teaching. Oh, I guess you could, right? You could. Can yeah. you do in yeah. Discord everything you yeah. do in, in uh, Zoom or Teams or Skype? It's very much like Slack. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. Slack, mm -hmm. but with more voice emphasis. Yeah. I'm not completely ignorant. I have a Discord account. I created one so that I could uh, play on the Vatican's Minecraft server. Yeah. But well, this may explain why Slack is um, boosting its ability to leave like little audio snippets and, and things like that there too, as they recognize where that audience is coming from. So oh my gosh. Uh, tell mm -hmm. me now, if I use Discord, could I... See, this is a Apple again. They don't let you say I don't want to use messages as my default. They don't you can't mm -hmm. change that. No, yeah, that that yeah, yeah. that's never going to change. Apple's not going to let that happen. <laughs> that's too bad because Yeah. That means I'm kind of stuck still on an iPhone using messages. Until somebody does a gateway or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a messages to Discord gateway. Isn't this a little bit of the risk Apple faces by not opening up messages that somebody's going to come along, be cross-platform and just take the market away from them? Is that so, a... So I think the the problem is, for, from my perspective, and maybe this isn't the way everybody uses their devices, but the, the, the messages app on iPhone is the default messages app. And that's why I use it. It has nothing to do with where my friends are, what platforms they use. It's the text messaging thing for the phones. You know, I'm I'm old enough that there was just text messaging back then. And so that's my that's default where I go. So I have, you know, a number of different ways that I chat with people, Slack and Discord and all these other things. But if I want to talk to a person, I just go to the thing where I text message people, which on the phone <laughs> is, is is the messages mm -hmm. app. Yeah. I don't think it's a it's a competition type thing. If I was on an Android phone, that is the thing that I would use to text message people. It's just how I think of it. I, I, and I really do like, again, I'm going back to that. It's a, it's really a status thing when you can say I've got the blue bubble. I don't think it's that the messages app is so great. And doesn't everybody wish they had something similar? No, everybody just wants a blue bubble. That's all it is. You know, it is, uh, there any chance Apple will adopt, uh, RCS? No. They don't need RCS. They have all the features of RCS in their siloed app. It's market pressures. You know, so what can mm. convince? See, this is a mess. That's the problem. It's too, it's too fragmented a market for any one thing, even in Google's RCS, to threaten Apple's messages. So they could just sit back and say, yeah, fine, have fun. But you know what they should do, and they might do, because they, user experience is important to Apple. And what they should do, and hopefully would do, is make the kind of features that interact with Android devices, for example, a lot easier. So renaming a group message or tapbacks mm -hmm. that, um, you know, make sense to an Android user or, um, you know, being able to um, pin um, the the group message that has an Android user in it. Like if Apple could on the iPhones end make the interaction uh, with Android users a better experience for the iPhone user. Yeah. They don't they don't need to worry about what the Android user thinks, but they need to worry about what I think. And if it's frustrating to me 
that I can't have the same kind of experience with my friends who use Android. I'm mad at Apple. I'm not mad at Android. So good I think question good from the chat room. Make some changes. Is Apple doing this to make it for ecosystem lock in? Is it is it com just anti competitive that they're saying nope, I'm not going to do it? Can't you can't uh, change your def def default messenger? We're not going to incorporate these features. It's us or uh, our way or the highway. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think this, that is in this case. And it's because you can use any other messaging app that you want. So they don't lock you into messages. It, it, you can at any point in time open up the Discord app and use that. You can, you can hide the, the messages app and put Discord right there on your main page and be that, make that be the thing that you always open. Um, it, you can make it your default me messaging app by just not using the other service. So I don't think it's really a lock-in sort of anti-competitive situation for this particular thing. I think it's really just an issue of, it's been such a, a nice, pleasurable experience for iPhone users for so long that it's kind of a joke now. And people, you know, people want to make fun of Android's lack of, of that kind of feature. And, um, and then again, you know, like I was saying, there's the user experience from the perspective of an iPhone user, but that that's it's really not that big of a of a deal, you know. Are you are you all iPhone users? Anybody use yes. Android? No, all iPhone users. See, I think yep. whether Apple's doing it intentionally or not, it does have that impact because the I don't I you know I fell in love with Telegram. I wanted everybody to use Telegram. I've gone through all these stages. I, AOL, Instant Messenger. Anybody remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. But eventually, I just gave in. I just sank into the warm bath that is the Apple <laughs> ecosystem. <laughs> and, right? But didn't we all do that? Yeah. It's like ah, just use messages. <laughs> yes, we did. And that's why I, I do maintain that it, it may not be anti-competitive because there are, are alternatives, but it's definitely a market share move. Yeah. I think people do, like your, was it you who were saying that one of you, or maybe it was Lisa? One of my kids. One my of your kids said, just said, we don't, you know, get a, get a, get a real phone. <laughs> we, we don't, yeah. yeah. My son I'm trying was, to tell my brother that too, so that he yeah, can get join a real the family phone. chat. Yeah, no. just don't you want to be in the family? <laughs> what do you hate but us? But you can but you can be in the family chat. It's just from your perspective on your phone, yeah. mm -hmm. you can't rename the conversation and all the yeah. fun things. So it's really it's you, not your brother, right? Like your yeah. brother's yeah. like, what? I'm just just But text then it me. may make your choices exclusionary i mean what was actually happening with these teenagers was that they were leaving people out of the group right. chats because they were green bubbles we don't want you and in they wanted to keep wow. the group all yeah. blue because the functionality was different and it annoyed them That's right. so they just ditched the yeah. people who are green do you lose I mean, some things with it, green bubbles in there it's not like you i can mean do the it. thing is 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 i chat with my mom she'll ping me when I'm at work in the middle of the day. And it's easier for me to just, I'm on my laptop. I can look something up, drop it back into her chat and it's done. And that's so easy. I love that I can mm -hmm. just move between things that have keyboards and things that are mobile devices. Whereas if it's the family chat with my brother, I can only access that on the phone. And but you can, you can turn yeah. on, um, you can turn on uh, continuity and, and use your computer as as a phone and, and receive those text messages. So another you are reason of doing that. Another reason why you should probably be running a Macintosh computer as well as an iPhone. <laughs> you see? You see how that happens? Yes. Yeah. Just relax in the nice warm bath of Apple. <laughs> it's, you know, put some bubbles in there. Enjoy. Light some candles. Some blue bubbles. No blue bubbles. Uh, no green <laughs> bubbles, only blue bubbles. Mm -hmm.